So we are now just eight days away from the presidential election of 2024 here in the United States. And at this time, we are seeing that there are fires being set to drop boxes that are destroying hundreds of people's ballots. Yeah, that's what's happening at this time. Today, I wanna show you the videos that we are just now seeing of one of these drop boxes on fire. They're pulling out ballots, again, on fire. But this was the concern and continues to be the concern moving forward. Again, we are just one week away from the election and many experts are concerned. We could see damaged ballots. We could see election tampering, okay, and ballot tampering. So I'm gonna break down what is going on at this time, what you should be looking forward to over the next week and what we should expect as well. So I'll break all this down in just a moment, but all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So one of the benefits to living in the United States is we have freedom, we can vote, we can do many different things that you can't do in other countries. But this is where we draw the line. When people are trying to vote for whoever it is they want to win the upcoming election, maybe it's the president, maybe they're voting for the vice president, the senator, right? Their house of representatives, right? That's what we are here for. Now, I wanna show you this video. Just watch this and let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this? Police say they don't know who did this. You can see in this video right here, the smoke coming out. In the Vancouver incident, they know that there were hundreds of ballots that were in that drop box and that it involved ballots that were dropped off from 8 a.m. yesterday morning. The last pickup in the box was at 8 o'clock yesterday morning. And right now the FBI is responding. Police don't know was this vandalism? Was it something more organized? They are investigating it, but just in the last couple of hours, the, the fire is breaking out. So there we go. So you saw right there, the ballots were just on fire. People are trying to pull them out, okay? They're pulling them out of the drop box. When you put your ballot into the drop box, you're expecting it's gonna be safe. It will get to the right hands and they will count it. We don't know who voted. We don't know whose ballots these were that will not count. But what if this is just the beginning? Now, there's nothing that's saying that, okay, we're gonna see hundreds or thousands of drop boxes around the United States tampered with. We don't know that. I'm not here to say that, oh, this is gonna happen. But this is the concern. We're already seeing hundreds of ballots, okay, set on fire. But look at this, I wanna show you some of these stories. It says ballot tampering investigation in Glacier County raises election integrity concerns. This story was just from yesterday. It says right here, this person was caught tampering with a ballot box. Now, how can we, and again, I, I don't know who's gonna win. I don't know how close this election is going to be. We don't know any of that stuff. We're gonna find out in a little bit over one week. And based off what experts are telling us, this election will likely be one of the closest ones we've had. And it's one of the biggest ones we will ever have. Now, I wanna show you this one as well. This is an article from Newsweek. It says, FBI investigating fake video of ballots being destroyed in Pennsylvania. Yeah, this is part of the problem is we are going to see some of these stories are going to be fake. Other stories are gonna be legit. There's gonna be some merit behind it. Hey, there's gonna be proof. The FBI already knows they are going to be investigating this election. They already know that, okay? There's already been many meetings, okay, where people are already in the, that are in the know, that are higher up or, you know, in the system, they already know that this is going on. Well, look at this one as well. It says right here, one third of former U.S. poll workers believe election tampering is likely. So 33% of former U.S. poll workers believe election tampering is likely. Now, I, I've asked this question many times. I've talked to people, you know, just here on the, or through the comments and stuff, through email. And one of the questions I've asked people is, would you run a, a poll location? 
Hey, would you go and volunteer? And I remember talking to somebody several months ago and she said that she used to do this, her and her husband would do this every single year, been doing it for several uh, different elections. And one of the reasons, or one of the things that she said to me in the end was she would never do it again. After what happened during the last election, where people were coming in, trying to tamper with people's votes, uh, you know, persuade them to vote a certain way or another, right? There was a lot of issues. She didn't want to do it ever again. So she's not going to do it this year. But this is what we are expecting. Now, I want to show you something else, okay? Look at this right here. It says, U.S. states warn officials uh, delaying tampering with a vote could be criminal charges, could bring criminal charges. So they're already telling people, telling uh, people at the, at the polls, if you delay a vote, if you tamper with a vote, with a ballot, with equipment, anything, okay? If you lock the door, whatever you may do, it could bring criminal charges. That is how serious this is. Now, I'm not saying that other elections weren't serious, other elections didn't have this type of security, but after what we saw in the previous election, back in 2020, what we are anticipating is a massive amount of delays, a lot of tampering, okay? We are going to see uh, people potentially try to persuade others to vote a certain way. In doing so, they are there's a high chance that people will be threatened. Now, I bring this up because the FBI has been saying for several months there will be a black swan event sometime either one month before the election, so about three weeks ago, and about one month after. That's the time frame. It's about a two-month span. So we have another five weeks to go if the, if the FBI is correct in this prediction that a black swan event will happen here in the United States in the next five weeks. So we're going to see what happens. But the one thing I can tell you is stories like this one, okay, where fires are breaking out in drop boxes as people are setting them on fire. This is not just something that just happened. According to the first report, uh, they're saying that it was either in Washington or in Portland. It's either Vancouver, Washington or Portland, Oregon. What we saw was an incendiary device that pretty much blew up inside the, the, the ballot box. Then obviously saw the one uh, you know I played in the video. So that's kind of what's happening right now. Based off what experts are saying is they are anticipating more of this to come over the next week. But we'll see what happens. I just want to share that with you so that you know what is going on around the country and this stuff is going to impact you because keep in mind in some states the votes are going to be so close they will have to be recounted they will have to be manually counted in certain states to ensure they are 100 percent correct or as close to being correct as they can be so we'll see what happens moving forward but that is what we know as of today so again Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.